Hare Krishna everyone, we are continuing to read the teachings of Lord Kapila, the book by His Divine Grace, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, Chapter 15, Meditation on the Lord's Transcendental Forms. Now, it is clearly stated by Kapila Muni that bhakti activities are transcendental to mukti. This is called Panchama Purushartha. Generally, people engage in the activities of religion, economic development, and sense gratification, and ultimately they work with an idea that they are going to become one with the Supreme Lord, Mukti. But Bhakti is transcendental to all these activities. The Srimad Bhagavatam, therefore, begins by stating that all kinds of pretentious religiosity is completely eradicated from the Bhagavatam. Ritualistic activities for economic development and sense gratification and after frustration in sense gratification, the desire to become one with the Supreme Lord, are all completely rejected in the Bhagavatam. The Bhagavatam is especially meant for the pure devotees who always engage in Krishna consciousness in the activities of the Lord and always glorify these transcendental activities. Pure devotees worship the transcendental activities of the Lord in Vrindavan, Dvaraka and Mathura as they are narrated in the Srimad Bhagavatam and other Puranas. The Mayavari philosophers completely reject them as myths, but actually they are great and worshipable subjects and thus are relishable only for devotees. That is the difference between a Mayavadi and a pure devotee as they view scripture. Actually, Vedic scripture is Krishna Katha, topics about Krishna. And Krishna Katha is not a subject matter for a debate club. It is meant for the devotees. Non-devotees simply waste their time reading Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. And we have often mentioned that so-called scholars, politicians and philosophers simply give misleading commentaries when they try to interpret Bhagavad Gita when they try to interpret Bhagavad Gita. Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur used to say that they are like people trying to lick, lick at a bottle of honey that is sealed closed. If one does not know how to taste honey, one begins licking at the bottle. But for one to actually taste the honey, the bottle must be opened. And the key to its opening is the devotee. Therefore, it is said, Satam prasangan mama virya samvido bhavanti hrit karinara sayana katha tajo shanada shvapa varga vartmani shradha ratir bhaktir anukramishyati. In the association of pure devotees, Discussion of the pastimes and activities of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is very pleasing and satisfying to the ear and the heart. By cultivating such knowledge, one gradually becomes advanced on the path of liberation and therefore he is freed and his attraction becomes fixed. Then real devotion and devotional service begin." Srimad Bhagavatam 3.25.25 God is eternal and his instructions and followers are also eternal. In Bhagavad Gita 4.1 Krishna tells Arjuna that millions of years ago he spoke Bhagavad Gita to the Sun God. Bhagavad Gita was spoken to Arjuna 5,000 years ago and if we read it today we will still find it that it is 
very fresh. Bhagavad Gita and Krishna are never old. Although Krishna is the most ancient one, the oldest of all, he always remains like a young boy in his teens. He never appears older than 20. Not older than 20, right? Okay. Krishna's words are absolute, as well as his form, qualities, and activities. They're always fresh and new. If they were not, how could the devotees glorify them day after day with greater enthusiasm? The more one glorifies Krishna, the more enthusiastic one becomes in glorifying, glorifying, glorifying. This is the meaning of spiritual. In the material world, if we repeat something once, twice, thrice, or four times, it finally becomes hackneyed and disgusting. However, this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra can be chanted 24 hours daily, and one will still find, one will still feel fresh and enthusiastic. It is not a material sound like the sounds we hear on the radio. It is a spiritual sound that comes from the spiritual world. Even in the material world, we can release a sound from one place and it can be heard thousands of miles away. A spiritual sound can be released from many trillions of miles away and it can be heard provided that one has the machine to capture it. That machine is Bhagavat Prema. Those who have developed love of Godhead can hear it. Arjuna was neither a Vedantist nor a Sannyasi nor was he particularly advanced in spiritual understanding. However, he heard Bhagavad Gita because he was a Bhakta. Atheistic scholars and politicians cannot understand the transcendental vibrations. They can only lick at the honey bottle. Fools and rascals eat and drink everything without restriction, thinking that they're going, thinking that they're doing it in the name of religion. There are many so-called swamis and yogis who tell their disciples that they can do anything and still advance spiritually. But this is not possible. One has to become a pure brahmana, control the mind and senses, and discuss the Supreme Personality of Godhead among sadhus. This may sound very difficult, but one can become a sat, a saintly person, within a second. If one is eager, one can immediately surrender to Krishna. When one approaches Krishna, one should say, My dear Krishna, I have forgotten you. Now I am fully surrendered unto you. You may kill me. Or, if you like, you can give me protection. Unquote. When Prahlad was asked by the Supreme Lord what benediction he desired, Prahlad Maharaj replied, My dear Lord, why should I ask for some benediction simply because I have suffered for you? You are extremely, you are supremely powerful. And whatever I get, I get from you. I was born into a family of demons and was inclined toward material enjoyment. I have seen my powerful father, who was feared even by the demigods, annihilated within a second. Why should I ask for anything? Please, engage me in the service of your servant. This is all I want. 
I do not want anything else. Unquote. In this way, a devotee never asks for anything material from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The devotees are simply satisfied in glorifying the Lord. This is the way of Bhakti Yoga. Jai, we're going to stop here for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. The link to this book is in the description. Please check out our website, shravanamdiaries.com, and we shall see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna.